everybody. Welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Now, I got a comment from a viewer, and I'll put it up right here. And she's asking about the systems of trellises that I use. So, I use three. Three different versions of a trellis. And I thought this would be a great video just to show what I do here in this little small suburban backyard for maximizing the amount of space that I have using trellises. Let's grow. Okay, so the first one that I wanna go over is this wall one right here. As you can see, what I did is I took these hog panels, cow panels, depending on where you are, they're called something different. But I took these and I ran them right up the side of the wall here, put those up there as braces, connected them down here into these boxes that I made, and I'll put links to those videos right here. But what I wanted to do was maximize all the space that I possibly can in this little backyard. And I had this massive open wall right here. So I, th I thought, why not build something where I could put vining plants at the bottom and they can go to the top and that's eight feet. So I created these boxes in this trellis system last year. And since then I have had beans all the way to the very top, actually to the roof. So as you can see right here, these beans are all the way at the top of the trellis, eight feet. And right now I have beans on these plants. Every plant in these boxes are supposed to trellis. They are supposed to grow tall. So uh, what I've also done is I've put in some other little braces to keep these plants in instead of coming out and helping them grow straight up. These are the Chinese red long beans and they're starting to finally grow. But that's the first trellis system I wanted to go over. It's just something simple. And in fact, I'm doing the exact same thing just on a different scale right here. Okay, so this is basically the exact same thing. As you can see over there, I've got extra hog panels and T-posts up against that wall. I know it doesn't look good, but it is what it is. This is gardening, right? <laughs> all right, so all I did was I drove in these two T-posts. I attached the hog panel with zip ties to the T-post. I really should cut that. And then I put these blackberries down at the bottom. Uh, I buried the blackberries last year. And as you can see, they're, they're, they're climbing. And I've actually got the beginning of blackberries starting with some beautiful flowers. So that system right there works beautifully. They're, and it's very easy. It's not super expensive, but the way I look at it is if I'm gonna spend money on something that's going to last for a long time that I don't mind that initial investment because you can constantly use these over and over again shift them move them cut them whatever you need to do but that's the first trellis system using hog panel or bull panel depending on where you are is what it's called okay here. everyone in the world from the time you're a kid or growing up you know what these are tomato cages so I use these very sporadically and I only use them when I really need them, or if I'm gonna plan on creating a way for a plant to climb and get off the ground. Using them again, just for these peas to trellis and to grab hold of, and for those beans back here to do the same. They trellised up from there, and now they've cut over to, I guess, my neighbor's yard. <laughs> I use the tomato cages like that. And I'll be honest, I've never actually used a tomato cage for a tomato. I always use them for stuff like this. Beans, squash, zucchinis, uh, anything to get them up off the ground so they can continue, so the bees can find the flowers. That's the most important thing is the bees need to be able to find the flowers. And I've found that when the squash and zucchini plants are down on the ground, they're kind of covered. And I've had better success vining basically the squash and zucchini plants up as opposed to having them down on the ground. And the third one I'm really proud of, and you'll see why. Okay, so this year what I wanted to do was have a dedicated bed for indeterminate tomatoes. Well, in order to do that, you need to have a really good trellis system for indeterminates because an indeterminate tomato is going to grow and grow and grow. So you need a way to trellis them high and keep them safe and secure. So I built that right there. 
It's a four foot wide, 16 foot long bed. And every tomato plant in there is an indeterminate, which means in about two months, every one of these plants are gonna be all the way up here at the top. Now the key to this trellis system are these right here. These right here. These things are great. So it's really easy. You just take the line, unwrap it, bring it down to your tomato plant and secure them. Just like that. Now, as the plant grows, you gotta move these up. Because right now, there's so much tension right here because that clip is pretty tight right in here. Like this string is really, really tight. So I have to move this one from down here and shift it up to free up the, the tension and allow this plant to continue growing straight up. The biggest thing to remember with these is, and when you're trellising your tomatoes, are checking those clips. You don't want the clips to be cutting into the plant as the plant grows. So for this trellis system, you really have to be on your game. You have to be in the garden, constantly checking those tomatoes when you've got them trellised like this. And this is the only way I trellis indeterminate tomatoes is through this method right here. Okay, so those are the three methods that I use. I will say this, I went ahead and threw this up actually last night. And all that is is a bamboo teepee. And what I'm gonna do later today is I'm gonna plant a bunch of beans under this TP trellis here and just see what they do. Hopefully they'll just climb straight up this thing and be kind of a cool looking deal out here and getting beans. All right, everybody, so that's the video. I hope you learned something from this. Hope you got some ideas, got inspired. If you have a different way of trellising that you use, please drop them down in the comments. Let Share it with the community here. I would love to read about them. That's all I got for today. Everyone take care, God bless. Continue to shine bright and harvest heart. I'll talk to you again real soon.